Hi, in this video we are going to try and find the expected value of a continuous random variable x given its pdf, where pdf is a probability density function. Say we have our pdf given by f of x equals x cubed over 60 for x in the interval from 2 to 4. Now what does it mean? If we try and draw our f of x, this is our x-axis, that's the f of x, and it looks pretty much like that. Say that's 2, Say that's 4 and this is the interval we're looking at. So the probability density function tells us what is the probability that our random variable will lie in the interval or will take the value that we want it to take. So say we want this random variable x to be less than 3 and greater than 2.5. So 2.5 would be somewhere in here, 3 would be here, and that's this. So the probability that this random variable will lie in this interval is equal to the area under the graph. Now we know that this variable lies in this whole interval from 2 to 4 and we know that the probability, the full probability can be only equal to 1 so the whole area under this graph has to be equal to 1. So we have that the integral, because that's the area under the graph, of f of x dx is equal to 1. In our case it's from 2 to 4. Let's check it now. So we have our f of x x cubed over 60 and now let's see the integral from 2 to 4 of x cubed over 60 dx is x cubed over 60, that's x to the 4 over 4 times 60 is 240 from 2 to 4. Now 4 to the power of 4 is 256 and that's over 240. And 2 to the power of 4 is 16 over 240 which is 240 over 240 and that is 1. So it is indeed a PDF. Now we want to find the expected value of a random variable. So if you think of a discrete random variable, we had that our PMF was the sum over k pk and the expected value was the sum of a k, k times pk. If you think of a graph, if we try to draw it, we have here, and say this is our 1, that's 2, um, that's 3, that's our k equal 1, k equal 2, and 3. And now those have to add up to 1, just like we had the area under the graph in the continuous case have to, had to be equal to 1. So say this is not 0.2, that's going to be not 0.3 and this will be not 0.5. And now the expected value is 1 times this not 0.2, then two, plus 2 times this not 0.3, plus 3 times this not 0.5. And now in the continuous case, 
the expected value of our random variable x is equal to the integral again of f of x dx times x. So if you look at this graph, say we want we have x equal 2.5, so the expected value will be 2.5 times the area of this line, and so on. And it will fill up all of the area. So this is our expected value. Now we're going to try and calculate it for our example. So e of x is the integral again from 2 to 4 x times f of x which is x cubed over 60 dx and that is x to the 4 over 60 so it's x to the 5 over 5 times 60 which is 300 from 2 to 4 and 4 to the power of 5 is 124 over 300 minus 2 to the power of 5 is 32 over 300 and that is 992 over 300 which simplifies to 248 over 75 and that's our expected value thank you very much